Hello, YouTube. I'm doing a little review on Chemical Guys Nice and Wet Tire Shine Trim Coating. Uh, it says spray shine and protection, delivers a brilliant shine, protects against fading and cracking for all tires and plastics. Now, I'm not going to show you any pictures because it does exactly what it's supposed to do. It, it makes your tires look nice, black, and shiny. It leaves a wet, a nice wet look, as it says. But the biggest issue I have with this is how much actually comes off of your tires. Now, I know there's going to be people probably saying, well, you know, you didn't let your tire dry. Yes, I let my tire dry. I wiped my tires down um, with a cloth, with a microfiber cloth let it sit for about an hour out in the sun and then i applied this just a you know a nice regular coat and let it dry for about an hour and then i went you know what everyone does after they clean their vehicle and you know you want to drive around you know kind of show everybody it's clean i guess and look at it in the windows as you drive by and i did that and when i got home i got out of my truck and it was all over the side of it. It wasn't just, you know, a couple little specks that had kicked up uh, from stuff from some of it that probably that was, you know, left. Kind of how you'll get. Um, it was all over the side of it, and I basically had to wash the side, both sides of my truck, and beside the beside behind the corner the corner panel, the quarter panel, sorry, again. And you know, I thought, you know, maybe I didn't let it dry long enough. Maybe I put too much on. So the next time I did it, I'd, I'd done it and I really, really put the least amount possible on there. Really just a good once over and I took one of those little, um, I took a sponge and I spread it on the side of my tire. Now I ruined a sponge, but you know, it's 99 cent basically. And I went and drove it around and it didn't do it as much, but it was still more than really the other competitors like Armor All, Meguiar's, Mothers, uh, things along those lines. And I was really kind of, you know, unimpressed with how much it kicked up off a tire. And for that reason, that's why I really probably won't repurchase another one of these. Uh, but the good thing is it does last for about a week till it starts kind of getting dull and you get the debris from off the road off the road you know the dirt and the, you know different things it's kicked up different uh and then dirt you know gets all over your tires but really i was kind of i was impressed by how long it lasted because some of them only last for a couple of days and then i went and washed my truck again yeah, and i do hand wash my vehicle so and it was kind of uh it's still on there but it wasn't as you know powerful shine i guess you could say but the thing I do like about it is you can spray this on trim. And it actually does really well. It does really well uh, on the inside lining of your um, fender wells and things such as that. I sprayed it on there about a week ago. And, and it's or actually two weeks ago. And it's still on there. It does great for that. And believe it or not, I think it clings to plastic better than it does rubber. So, you know, I, I'd recommend using it on your trim. If it's black, it really makes it, excuse me, turn out really good. But... Other than that, kind of unimpressed, like I said, with how it actually sticks on the tire and stays on the tire. So, you know, it lasts a long time, but, you know, I, I prefer the, the Meguiar's gel that you can put on there and rub around because it lasts for about a week and a half, two weeks. And you don't worry about all the kick up you get from off your tire. So, hope everyone has a great day.